you guys welcome to another set me of me and chris and um yeah i'm gonna start saying that instead of segment i guess or a video yeah. suit or a vlog or a review between whatever i'm gonna say call this i guess they shine and chris reviews i guess but anyway um, welcome to another episode of the orange is the new black not that difficult but anyway <laughs> But anyway, uh. Come here. Open the door. So, anyway, thanks to this little ass. <laughs> it was too many interruptions here, but anyway, before the do back to the um, episode. Review. But you smacked me. And hey, you knocked my hat off almost. Nigga, your hat didn't fall off unless I did that. That's knocking your hat off. You. Motherfucker. What you hiding? Nothing. The one where I had today. My hair messed up. You inside the house. Dude, I wanna shut shut the hell up to the review. Um Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this episode was a very good one. We're basically focusing on Jane. Ain't that her name? Yes, Jane. Sister Jane. Or oh, ex sister Jane. Go ahead, Chris. Talk about her uh porn you now. I'll go to another Oh uh, yeah, she's when she first became a sister, the sister told her not to Talk to this so-called lady who's also an activist, a hard activist, and I don't understand why she's a nun if she's an activist. They can't see you do this. So. I know they can't see me do this. Exactly, they can't see me do this, but they can imply I'm doing it because the way I'm talking. Keep, keep going. I'm done now. You full of shit. I'm done. It was also about black too. Due to the fact that Red accused her homegirl for like snitching and telling V what actually happened, but they soon found out by Sydney or Cindy real fast that it was black. Diesel Dyke. And um Diesel Dyke. Bull Diver. Whatever they called him. Diesel Dyke. But um apparently um, these are like, um, still like want to stay like, I don't need y'all bitches. I don't need y'all. I don't need you, Red. You losing this with a bunch of old timers, and the only thing you giving is cosmetics and candy. Really? You fucking suck. Yeah. Basically, I don't need this shit. I'm in with V. Huh. You thought so, huh? Yeah, V don't want her because V do not like snitches. So, so her bell big buff ass, Ooh, right? Ooh, my road dog. I, ain't, I mean, damn, y'all just got to see this video if y'all haven't seen it yet. It's just bad as hell. Well, technically, we pretty damn late with the review any damn way. Yeah, because this shit came out, what, June the 5th? This so, if y'all have already seen it, then y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, them old women, they get down, but shit, I wouldn't hold an old woman up. Nah, shit. I think she's still Washington, though. Yeah, I think that was Washington, too. Washington. 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 Watson, my bad. Watson. Cause she has the same type of hair as me. Nappy nigga hair. Pretty much. So yeah, I think that was her that got stabbed. Hopefully it wasn't. Yeah. But it sounded like her. She's like, what did I do? Yeah, it did. It sounded like her. Exactly like her. But she had it coming for being a dick to the lady that got her out of the suit anyway. No, she didn't have that coming. That was meant for V&V only. But that's my road dog. She shanked the shit out of the wrong person. But still, that's I feel kind of sad for whoever that was. But like she said... V think if she can just come up in there and do shit her way, there's a catch to it. You gotta watch your back 24-7. And you think just because you got Suzanne there that she can be your muscle and do whatever you want and you got mouthy little bitch too? The little Miss Piggy and shit? Man, Suzanne get on my goddamn nerves, man. I tell you, like like I was telling Chris, this is V Vagina and this is her crit red. This is Suzanne dangling for that motherfucker. No. It's just... Why you say dangling? You should've just said she's swinging on that bitch like a tire swing. Man, she's a swing on that motherfucker. Like, she's saying, wee. Like, honestly. These fucking clitters. Wee. It's annoying. I mean, I like Suzanne with season one. She's crazy eyed, goofy ass. Yeah, until V came Pissing in. on the air ground and shit. V just turned her into a monster. And now she can't be this fake ass, crazy ass thug. Which she play real good. I gotta give the the uh, after a big up. She do she do her thug dizzle with that one. She she's doing her thing. Um also apparently Al Alice is hiding from the Arabic people. Yes, Alex. So I pointed this out to him when old dude came to the door and said, Oh, you're not Mrs. Such and Such. Yeah, I'm not, I'm Alex. 
And then, well, I'm such and such. Next time, I'll uh, separate the things, the uh, recyclables. Uh, Alex, Alex Moss, or Frost, or whichever one he said, she turned around and said, what? Uh, did you not hear him call you by your last name? What part of you did not get him your last name at all did you not hear? Right. I was about to say my last name. I just said Deshaun. Like, how the fuck do you know my last name? Yeah, I guess I you... wouldn't ask that. I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. You have the wrong one. My name is Alex. But the last name I would change if somebody came at me that I don't know that I just met. Right. Even if it was somebody from my past, I still do it. You think I remember your ass after six or seven years? No. Ah, ah. <laughs> you think I remember your ass from a year? Ah. You damn show suck. <laughs> you lost that one completely. Right, that shit was kind of, um, she still put two two together and she want to talk to Chapman um, due to the whole sense of racing because he's not safe. And it looked like Chapman actually falling for her again. No, Chapman, I think Chapman seemed kind of happy when she found out that uh, old dude got released. Like, I'm the only one in prison? Like, huh, bitch, I'm safe. Ah, you about to get killed and when I get up, I'm safe. Right. And we she also said, Larry. We could uh, Larry and Polly being together. Oh yeah. And Pete just. <laughs> but the thing he is, that so bad that he got a stake on that eye. The thing is, Pete thought they wanted to have a threesome. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> so you had sex with my wife, but you didn't invite me. Well, oh me. Right, 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 right. That's the thing. He was not upset that he had sex with the wife. He was more so upset that he had sex without him. That was crazy. I mean, damn. Like, but they said that a lot of people like to do that screen thing or having a threesome or monotonic thought, want to train on their wife. I don't know. I could not have my homeboy with me and my wife just drawing her. Oh, you talking about after you get done, then a bunch of a bunch of London, a London guys that was just masturbating, ready to bust all up in her. Like, yeah. And then y'all trying on. to find out on Murray Come who on. the fuck the baby daddy is when you know damn well last night you was you was, it was you. And a bunch of other drunken losers behind you. They didn't have sex with her. They was just masturbating, waiting till they got to their queue. And then this all just went right on long in a line. Next, 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 next. You look next. at too much damn game bang porn, Chris. I don't look at too much game bang porn. I don't even look at porn. I mean, I seen one of them before. I was wondering, like. You forget. She got three holes, like. You forget. You and forget. then she jacking off two guys while the other one rounding her. I look like. You forget that you know somebody who does things like this. So. Shut up! But anyway, back Bro, to the. Don't Chris, say Chris, I look Chris, at Chris, 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 I look at your face. Stop, stop. I don't care. Left face of yours. Cut it out. Because. Cut it out, Chris. You trying to say Chris. I look at porn. Every man look at On porn. On national TV. I look at porn. Of course, you can admit that, but I can admit to that I don't look at it. I'm not you, every you person. You looked at it before. Wow, I was younger then, but as I when I got grown, dude, ain't nothing about me looking at age. porn. I don't look at it all the time. Some and motherfucker can look at porn and study it like it's a fucking movie. I can't do that. I can't even look at it. I mean, what's the point? To masturbate, I guess. I guess what they do when they look at it or learn some new tricks. I don't know. I just can't just look at porn. I mean. I, I just when I, when, I, when, I, when I get in my head that what's the point of doing something or looking or it be like this porn this is this is main porn right here it's just doesn't seem you, about, you, know, you look at the thing like damn which girl I got here that I can fuck and then you gotta realize something like damn you know I gotta do so much things just to fuck this girl no, you know you what don't. I gotta do no some girls I got that in my phone that I can't just say oh so you wanna fuck oh okay let's go a lot of guys do not have that you ain't even gotta do that. But Man, the thing is, you, you can easily, you can easily whack you it to get out of there real faster. I'm, I'm just saying something. You get one girl in an abusive relationship, you good. That's all you need is somebody that's stuck in an abusive relationship. You comfort no, her. No, I do just get a whore, but I don't like that's whores. That's nasty. That's why I said somebody in an abusive relationship. For one, they going to come running, talking to you about their problems. Two, you can comfort them by giving them something to drink. Three, you're going to have a nice and, to remember. And console them by saying, tell her thing that she wants to heal. Exactly. And that thing you know you got upside down. But, Chris, that's, that's too much work. That is not too much work. I can look at a porn, get some lotion, just go about my business. But back to the damn thing. I am not touching nothing in your room. <laughs> mm. I can just only imagine where you got the what not at. Y'all ain't looking at the ceiling. That shit's out that damn far. Man, I'm looking a girl shoot off me like a rocket. I'm trying to figure out is where I'm sitting safe. Oh my god. Shut up. Back 
to the back to the video, man. Oh, oh my, no. oh my God, back to the video. <laughs> Chapman <laughs> getting shipped to Virginia because she's be being a snooty bitch. And the war, and he he told me too, like I'm gonna tell everybody else that she's not the war, and technically her husband's the war, and, and her husband is not there. He's off doing a campaign to become the governor or whatever. So technically that, that makes her the warrior because she's taking his place and his leaves are absent. And technically I don't think since the first time we even watched this that he was never there in the beginning with. It was always her. So technically to me she's the warrior. And also just because that's her husband. Yeah, I'll give, I give you that. I think we got, I think we hit everything possible in this particular... Alright, also there was a... Um... Hunger incident. strike. Yeah, the hunger strike with Jane. The warden came down, said that they needed to eat and that this foolery needed to stop. She took the art supplies and she ended uh, Chapman's uh, newspaper letter. So, all that got in bye bye. Because she said, You're in prison. You have no rights. Technically, yeah, that's absolutely true. That what they was given was something to do. Right. That's about it. Now, I mean, you got to One thing about Brooke, table. come me and Chris will talk about this Brooke walking away. She just keep talking to Chapman. And I was like, damn, Chris, what if I had a girlfriend that actually act like that? I would shoot him and her. You see what I mean? And I could kill us if I end up in jail. Because if that's the case, if I shoot them two for going to jail, I'm just going, I'm not going to even plead crazy. I'm just going to go shoot everybody else in the world that I don't. I mean, I'm already going to fucking jail. The fuck more do I got to lose? I'm going because I already killed two people. Might as well kill the fucking rest I don't like. It'll make me feel like I'm at peace. But then I'm going to be sitting up there mad as hell. Mad I killed two people and didn't kill the first fuck of the people I didn't like. Like, up. Oh, bop, 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 bop. It'll be okay. But anyway, uh, tell you guys think about this. Do I look like an animal? Rate, do I look like Yes, I you do. you like a gigantic rat. But anyway, make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here.